Hey, Lily. Hey. some lobster tacos that are pretty fuego so we're just chilling it's about like six or seven here we're gonna go for a little dip in the pool maybe walk to the beach we are in la paz i don't think i even said that couldn't really film at the airport we have a cute airbnb i'm gonna show you guys in a second but yeah i'm here with my family and randy of course i'm just glad to be getting away because honestly for myself and my family it's been a little bit of a rough few months so it's nice to just get away just us and relax for a little bit um i'm gonna show you guys the house though because it's okay Day two in La Paz. About to head out, go grab some coffee. It's, what time is it, babe? Show me the time. 7.55, we were up early. Randy was up all night. About to go get some cafe and get our day started. Let's go. Friday morning, it's almost 8 a.m. We are on our way to go snorkeling. We have a little private snorkeling tour and I'm super excited. And again, we hope Randy can swim there. <laughs>
morning guys all right we're about to go out and get some coffee it's almost 9 a.m we wanted to try out a coffee spot here my mom and dad do this little like coffee tour on facebook and stuff so they want to do a mexico edition coffee tour so we're tagging along with them we will let you guys know how it goes i haven't really been vlogging that much we've been getting a lot of footage but i haven't really been talking that much because it's kind of hard to you know when you're trying to enjoy your time anyways all right we'll see you at the coffee shop what did you get i got a nutella latte cinnamon roll and my cafe is still not here i got an iced caramel latte got the taste test here Starbucks that come in the little bottle. <laughs> Cinnamon roll. It's delicioso. We're just winding down about to pack up our stuff because it was our last night here in La Paz. It was a really great trip. What do you think, babe? It was awesome. It's really, really pretty out here. I've been to a couple places in Mexico, but this is definitely one of the prettiest. I, definitely one of my favorite. It's a small town, not too busy, not too many tourists, and just super pretty. So I would definitely recommend coming here we rented an airbnb and it was so nice it was called costa baja yeah they have little villas all around and it's super pretty it's hot um, as fuck though yeah so we have like in our little villa our room is kind of separate and our air conditioning is not working tonight it's not that bad to me we have a fan but uh hopefully we can survive the night we went to one restaurant called tail hunter two nights in a row tail hunter was tail pretty, hunter pretty cheap fun. and Ooh. really good food really really good we met the owner he's pretty cool tonight we went to a restaurant here in our little resort area called azul marino there you go and that was really yummy too and pretty well priced tail hunter was only like 70 something tail dollars hunters. and we ordered a lot of food super cheap and really good really fresh la paz is known for their seafood because in la paz they have really good like fishing and that's what they're known for is like their Sea life. You can bring your own fish too. Yeah, you can bring your own you. fish and they cook it for you. So it was super fresh. Yeah, hopefully we got some footage and we can throw a little vlog together. Okay? Hope so. Shit. Oh, uh, we had a really good trip. So 10 out of 10 would recommend coming to La Paz. Definitely. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy our video if we did put it together. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.